Hi, it's Will Shannon here. Now, you know I'm talking to you in this first module about the four elimination channels, and I've also already explained to you that you, you, we normally try and start with what we shove in our mouth, don't we? We always kind of think it's nutrition, and I've tried to explain to you that iridologists and other experts were taught that there's also toxicity in the body that settles that needs to come out. We've explained together that that toxicity tends to settle in the weaker cells of the body. Okay, but weeks, so if your lungs are weaker, your thyroid is weaker, your adrenals are weaker, this toxicity will tend to settle. So we've got to start to eliminate that together. So we've already discussed the bowel and kidneys. So I'd like to talk to you about the third elimination vehicle, which is the respiratory system. Now, Bernard Jensen, who was the father of American iridology, used to always uh, teach in his books that he, he would always teach his clients to build up their lung capacity. And I, as I've got older, have done the same. I started very much like other naturopaths, where I would give you a lot of things in your mouth. And as I've got older, in conjunction with that, I've started to teach structural therapy and breathing, emotional things. We're going to cover all that very quickly and succinctly. But at the end of the day, I've also told you that your bowels eliminate, your kidneys eliminate, and your skin and your respiratory area have two ways of eliminating. So your skin, which we'll cover on the next video, you'll sweat and you'll shed. Your respiratory area, you breathe out carbon dioxide and you also expel mucus. Now, even though mucus might be dormant, there are herbs that you can take that will start to activate that and get rid of that because mucous membranes which lie in your respiratory area produce mucus as a protectant and everyone's got a little bit of mucus that needs to come out whether you're conscious of it or not. So two takeaways from this, even though I haven't finished yet. Number one, uh, I'm going to put below this video, or maybe even on the screen, depending on how we structure this, uh, some, some herbs that, that will expel mucus and herbs to build your respiratory area. Also, the second thing that's important is I'm going to teach you some breathing exercises on a separate video. Now, your lungs are controlled by something called the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a muscle, and if you're not moving, number one, this diaphragm is going to be weak, and number two, your diaphragm is going to be jammed. Now, your diaphragm attaches to your lower back, and because your diaphragm attaches to your lower back, and it attaches to a range of muscles, because you've been sedentary and you're not moving, the diaphragm can't get oxygen into your body effectively. So on the next module and the coming modules, I'll talk to you about oxygen when we talk about nutrition. But in this section, which is just purely elimination, I want to stick to what we're talking about, uh, you expel carbon dioxide. Now, what is carbon dioxide? I'll tell you in a nutshell to keep in layman's terms, one of the, the biggest acids in the body is called carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is now carbonic acid needs to be mixed with water to form carbon dioxide. So a quick caveat, if you're not drinking water, you can't even expel carbon dioxide. Now carbon car, carbonic acid, the half-life is something like a million years. I'm gonna put the accurate number in uh, the box when we talk about it, but, but carbonic acid does not break down without water. Once you've got water, it turns into carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide makes people very fatigued. In fact, when people commit suicide, they pump carbon monoxide into a car because it, it sucks all the oxygen out and you can't breathe. And so I'm gonna discuss with you two takeaways from this video. We're gonna get you on uh, herbs that promote strength of lungs, herbs that promote e uh, expellation of mucus. So there'll be two different groups of herbs. There'll be one that kind of builds your lungs, one that kind of expel it. The second thing is we're gonna cover some breathing exercises to expel all that carbon dioxide. Also, I'm also obviously gonna to explain to you some herbs or creams you can get that you can put front and back of the lungs to start building that. And also, uh, as we go on, uh, in the coming taste, I'm gonna give you some exercises below here that you can start to do around the lungs to start stretching the muscles so that your lungs can work more effectively. Your lungs are kind of like a balloon, but your rib cage is kind of like a springboard that pulls that balloon back, otherwise the balloon would just inflate forever. Now I'm here to tell you that because those muscles are so tight, you can't spring. And because you're lacking that spring, you've got a weak diaphragm, you're lacking spring, you've got tight muscles, you've got mucus, you've got congestion. And then as we get more advanced in coming tapes, I'm going to tell you how to get out of sleep apnea and some of these things that you might have because most people, including myself, are struggling to breathe at night. Now I'll give you one other caveat which I'm going to cover on later tapes and that's you're only getting about 20% oxygen in the atmosphere. It's theorized in the olden days that 
a prehistoric man could have got as high as 30 or 35% oxygen. Most cities are only 12 or 15% oxygen. So if you're not breathing effectively, you're gonna be really, really fatigued. So look at the boxes below for the herbs that we're gonna get you on for the lungs to expel mucus and the breathing exercises that we're gonna do and also, if you're getting chronic mucus on the coming tapes, you're going to learn some foods that you can take away to stop that. And when mucus is gone, your airways will de-inflame and you're naturally going to be able to get in more oxygen and take out carbon dioxide. I hope this wasn't too confusing. The boxes will explain all and I'll see you on the next video.